Hey, this is Lana, the mentoring medium, comedian medium. Notice I changed myself because I'm mentoring so much. <laughs> um, bringing you your Virgo Libra cusp reading for August uh, 2020. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. Please visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. I'm 25% off yet. I'm going back up to my regular price really soon. Um, you can there book a reading. Visit my my uh, blog page, TheWiseWomanSage.com. You can look at my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'm also announcing I'm starting a podcast. It's out of Chicago. It's called B 216 The Net. And my show is called Metaphysical Meanderings. I'm going to be addressing metaphysical everythings. So even Bigfoot hunters. I, I found a Bigfoot hunter I'm going to be talking to at some point. So it's just, and it's going to be live at 9 a.m. on Saturdays. And then after that, it'll be taped. And you'll be able to call in to ask me a question. All right. Let's get on with this. I've been very busy. Um, thank you for all the, the lots of, I'm getting lots of readings. I'm doing a lot of mentoring. And what I mean by mentoring is that some people are empaths and they just don't get how to control it. And they end up absorbing all this energy and they don't know how to handle it. Well, I'm not perfect. I have a lot to go, but I do know how to keep myself from absorbing it. I've seen 600 kids a week for the last 30 years. I know now how not to do it. So see what I'm saying? Um, so I'm mentoring people. I'm trying to help them with their, you know, their empathic abilities. So if you're interested, I do do that. So um, it would be about the same as a read. Uh, and so I've got several people I'm doing that for. So, all right, let's get on with this. Like my Virgos. I've got a lot of Virgo. Um, Virgo is an earth sign like a Capricorn. I got a lot of, I got a lot of Capricorn in me. So, ooh, I got something hidden that hasn't been revealed yet, huh? Okay. Okay. So, coming into uh, from August, you did a lot of soul searching. Um, you had kind of taken the bull by the horns where you become the emperor of your own domain. And there had been something that had been going on that was like a, the course of 30 days. Or it's in you're in the 30-day cycle entering August. So there's something that's happening for you that there's an opportunity. Um, you're getting a wish. I mean, there's something going on. And it was justified. It was, there's justice to us. There's balance to it. Okay? Now, there's a person here that is a king of wands. King of Wands is a fire sign. Now, this also could be the man of your dreams, okay? Um, this is a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, okay? And I want, and some people are just going, I don't know, they're doing what the hell card, which means they're just going forward with something. They're, they're doing something. There's something going forward, like, okay, let's just do it with some optimism and let's just do it. But yet, you're a little, you're hesitant. Um, there's money that's coming or money that's being spent and they're kind of warning you not to just to be just kind of watch it be careful um there's i want to say this is money to be made um now this card can be down and out but when i see this card it means it's a fear of being down and out okay it's not real all right now you're being indecisive though should you follow your head or should you follow your heart is this a relationship because it's you're you're by not making your mind up. See, you're in limbo. By not making your mind up, you make your mind up. Do, do you know what I'm saying? And there's so much transformation and so much luck on your. Look at these are the two luckiest cards in the deck, and they're sitting together. It's almost urging you to go forward. Okay. Now, when I see this card, this this card right here, the the priestess. Something's hidden. It hasn't been revealed yet. So you may have an opportunity or something that you don't even know about. And it might just be fantastic. You don't even know. Now, here's an interesting thing. Here's the three of Now, this could be a party. Now, I've seen this when I've seen birthday parties. 
See how you're all dancing and having a good time? I also see it as three, like a third wheel, like a love triangle also, okay? Um, it's full of emotion, but there's a good, good type of emotion around that card, okay? Now, like I said, I would wish these, this card, this, this, these two cards on anybody. That means luck's on your side, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning, things are transforming, things are picking up. You know, you're making progress. And here's your star. You thank your lucky stars. Good luck, good luck. They're both good luck cards. So, hmm, what are you doing? What are you wishing for? What are you creating? What are you manifesting? You have to be doing something. Okay? Because, you know, I, I know that people say that things like, oh, I manifested, I just thought and it happened. No, no. When you manifest, people need to understand this, that when you manifest, what you do is you concentrate on something and you bring it to the forefront of your mind and you do the things necessary to manifest it. There's a big difference just while sitting around going, oh, please, please give me a million dollars. And then there's another thing for to start a new business, to meet the right people and put it into place so that the, month, the million dollars comes to you. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. Let's see what we get off of my deck here. You've made sacrifices. You've had to do what you've had to do. Mm, interesting. But you're seeking balance. See, look at justice and balance are the same card. You're seeking balance. What are you trying to balance out? Um, are you working too hard? Um, are you, I don't know, but you tell me what you're balancing out. Okay? Now, you're becoming very aware and I really think you are able, maybe you are manifesting. Because look at, this is your, your, this is, this is your crown chakra. Your sh crown chakra is up here. It's, it's your mind. What are you doing? Now, you've known some heartache and loss. Now, remember, this is the down and out card. Okay? These cards are very similar. Have you let go of something? But remember I said to you, a lot of this is in your mind. It's in your mind. Okay, now they're telling you oh, this card keeps coming up for like everybody. This this whole like almost everybody. The sacral chakra, the sacral chakra is staying grounded, being logical, they seeing things through. If you can't find your answers and you don't know how where to which way to go, see look at that. It's telling you to write down a list, think it through. I I know when I have a huge decision. The best thing that I do is I sleep on it a day or two before I give anybody my, my what I've done or my decision because it just, it seems like it like absorbs into me and then I put it in the right perspective, okay? Now look at this. Remember I told you, look at this. Financial and material changes, there's got to be something to do with money here. There's like a, an increase. And I don't mean in a bad way because this is not a bad card. This is definitely not a bad card. Um, maybe you're making like the, I, I want to say a few people are investing in the, in, in, in the stock exchange and being very careful and not sure what they want to do, but they're watching and learning and that's going to make a huge difference for them. So I don't know where I'm getting that from. I just channeled that just now. So, okay. Um, Remember, this is the year of karma, you guys. I keep saying it over and over. If you, it's a four. A four is karmic. Now, if you are a good person, you're going to get your karma. Do not turn down any opportunity. It was meant for you, okay? This is divinely, in a way, this is very divinely orchestrated. See, look at, this is the luck card. And look at the angels are up here. The book is open. Your book, that, this, that's the, that's your Akashic records. You're, you're going to benefit from everything. So just remember that. Go without any fear. They're telling you you're a little afraid. And that's why you're sitting here not knowing what to do. Sometimes these cards are a reflection, but they sometimes gently nudge also. And remember, these aren't magic. These aren't like ho ooh, hocus pocus. These, these are psychological. They are a reflection of what's going on in your head at the time. And... I don't care if it says I've been so I've been doing these 25 years. I still can, I'm convinced that these are psychological. All right. 
Um, with that said, I want you to think about what you're going to do with this. Okay, go ahead and do it. <laughs> this is Lana, the mentoring medium. And blessings to all you. Stay safe. You know what I mean? I still say there's a vaccine coming out. I said it way back in March. And I said we'd hear about it in June. And we exactly heard about it in June. Because the Chinese are giving it to their military. I know three people getting that vaccine. So if I haven't told you that, I'm telling you it again. It's it, six months. We will be settled down and we will be going forward. Is what I was told the other night when I meditated. So, and I just repeat what I'm told. Blessings to all you. See you in about a week. <laughs>